All right, everybody, happy Friday. I just wanted to do a quick update on progress of Camper 8.0. So as you guys can see here, I've got most of the outside skin of the camper, which is cedar planking. Um, there's obviously a little bit in the rear I have to do and the roof is not on, and that kind of leads to the next point. Um, so you guys probably see this, uh, let me walk over here, this kind of that sawtooth shape uh, on the top of the camper there. And that's, of course, not what the final shape will be. Um, but like I've talked about before, these three hardwood half inch thick flexible beams will attach down here at the rear and then up there in the front in the cab over. And as you guys can see, that will make a curve or an arc, whatever you want to call it, that will run across there. So I will get these three beams in place, and then I will trace a line on the inside of this kind of sawtooth edge on the wall there. And then I will cut it to match the curve of these planks. And later, when I put on the roof, the roof material will actually overlap this wall uh, to help for weather weatherproofing purposes okay so you guys can see those on the sides these openings these are obviously windows uh, down there in the front that is going to be a little window which will be i know it looks like it's pushed to one side but the rationale there is that will line up with the center mounted rear opening of my particular pickup and of course up there is a cab over it's open right now but uh, that will be storage. Um, I use uh, attach these planks. Um, actually, as we're talking about that, I was I've been uh, I reviewed this little 18 gauge Brad nailer a couple weeks ago, and the company does not know I'm doing this, so I'm doing this because I actually think it's a pretty good tool. Uh, just for fun, I've been using this for this entire camper build. Um, I have um, used the big boy one because if you guys watched the video on this, you recall that this had a, a limit on the size of brad nail you could use. So I did use my big boy DeWalt a few times where I needed a long one, but easily 98% of the build so far has been done with this. And this thing has actually held up really well. Um, it's probably literally thousands of nails went in here. So I'm not trying to sell it, uh, uh, but... If any of you did watch that video and were curious, it does seem to be holding up. I will admit this, it's smaller profile, and one of the things I talked about was it's it's low weight compared to other tools. It has really been handy booth, as you guys can imagine, all the repetitive tasks of attaching all these planks. A little bit tedious, um, but going back to what I was talking about, they're all attached with brad nails uh, to the framing. And then I use the, got it right here the um, a particular kind of caulking. This is the DAP brand Dynaflex Ultra. I'm sure there's many others that would work well. I've just used this one, it works well. And I will lay that down in the framing members before I push on the planks and use a brad nailer to attach them. And I've talked about this many, many times before, but the uh, caulking has a couple of purposes. Uh, most notably, it actually functions as a pretty good adhesive. So once this hardens up, after a few days, in addition to the brad nails holding the planks to the framing, uh, that caulking will function like an adhesive. But most importantly is it's a flexible adhesive, which is absolutely key because this is real wood. Um, and uh, this will expand and contract with moisture. Um, just like a little example here. Uh, when I put these together, this crack was far narrower and it's it's opened up a little bit since it's been on the camper and that's totally expected that happens it's nothing to worry about but uh that use of the caulking allows it to you know those boards to expand and contract a little bit and they won't split if you used a a uh, caulking uh or i'm sorry like just a standard wood glue or something it wouldn't allow these boards to move but they would still move and they would crack so it's a little trick there that's worked out well um of course, if you're using, you know, gluing smaller things together like those beams, usually the general rule is less three inches or less. 
you can use a wood glue. So I've used traditional wood glue through a lot of this. Um, so another quick thing is windows here. Um, let me go inside. Uh, I've had pe many people comment that were wondering how they frame out their windows. And I came up with this technique because most RV windows are radiused on the edges and uh, you could mark it out and cut it out by hand, but it's time consuming and many times not as accurate as this. So I frame in the, the rough opening for the window. When I say rough, it's actually pretty, it's got to be precise to the opening. So uh, if I remember off the top of my head, this particular window is um, 21 by 21. Now that's the inside measurement because most of these windows will clamp together. They'll have an outside lip and an inside lip. So you've got to measure the inside portion because that lip will have to clamp over the thickness of these boards. And that's the next measurement you have to take into effect is how wide is the clamping. Um, so for the particular windows I have, it's one inch. So it's easy. I just use, I just put in a little subframe in here and then use the thickness of the outside uh, planking. And then finally, how do you get around the radius? And this is a little trick I found is I just cut a little triangle piece here and I attach them all around. Uh, of course, you've got to size your triangle piece, but I've, in all the windows I've had with the radiuses, I can, I, I cut a few of these to get the right size and it, and everything seals up fine. And then, so what you do is when I plank the outside skin, there was a few spots where I just, where the planks, because of how they lined up, had to go over the window and nothing to worry about. I just took a flush cut router bit. That's the one that has a bearing that would ride on the thickness that you want. And then the actual router bit portion would cut into the um, planks here in this particular case. And you can just kind of route out your opening there. And uh, that's been a real handy method. And it works out really well for those radius windows. Um, weight. So uh, talked to you guys. One of my main goals on this one had to do with the shape for both aesthetic and perhaps aerodynamic qualities, uh, but I've always tried to make the campers as light as I could, and this one has been no exception. Um, as you guys see it right here, and this is an estimate because, you know, for example, like when I cut down all those boards, you know, following the curve of the roof, you know, those are going to be waste pieces, of course. Um, um, but uh, the best conservative estimate, meaning it's actually probably a little lighter, as is this thing only weighs 230 pounds as it sits right here, which I think is pretty incredible. Um, so that's the tub, that's all the walls. Now there's a lot more weight that will be added throughout the course of the build, but this is a pretty hefty chunk of it so far. Um, when I get those, all three of those beams up there, I weighed them, I think total, they were only nine pounds for all three. I'll get those attached and of course I'll put uh, the the uh, roof on and uh, my rough rough guess right here to have a completed shell with a roof on it um, but without windows or any of that stuff this will probably be about 300 pounds now again that's just the rough shell there'll be a, a lot of additional weight added when I build out the interior uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this space right here this is for the AC opening so when I add the AC in there um, you all add some weight for finishes and stuff like that. And of course there'll be a little bit more trim and little odds and ends here and there. And of course the weight of the windows. So, but, um, this thing is trending as it stands right now to be a very, very light camper. Um, so, but guys, that's, that's the update. Um, next time around, I suspect you'll probably see the roof on it and, um, this thing will start looking more and more like a camper each time. I'll walk around the front here and let you guys get a little glance of what the front end looks like. Had a little bit of a rainy day out there today. And uh, well, this doesn't really give you much of a look, but you guys can kind of just see it from that angle. Uh, my lathe, my wood lathe there, uh, that was the best purchase I've ever made. And it works uh, because it works perfectly to support the weight of these cab overs. Uh, I just thought that was funny. So, all right, guys, hope you have a good weekend.